Today's top stories, the US Congress has averted a potential economic crisis, agreeing to raise the country's debt limit. After months of negotiations, the Senate has voted to allow the country to continue borrowing money and avoiding going into default. President Barack Obama has signed the bill. Moody's ratings agency has confirmed America's AAA credit rating, but describes the country's economic outlook as negative and there's continuing talk about the possibility of the US slipping it back into recession. British police have made their 11th arrest in relation to the News of the World phone hacking saga. The former managing editor, 71-year-old Stuart Kuttner, has been arrested on suspicion of corruption and phone hacking. He's since been released and returned to his North London home. It's unknown if he'll be questioned by police again. Syrian forces are continuing an offensive in Hama, which has already killed more than 130 people. Army tanks have been shelling residential areas and a hospital. Residents say many are fleeing to nearby villages, believing the army will gain full control. The UN Security Council has resumed discussions on the crisis. The Prime Minister has held talks with editors from News Limited last night after months of tension between the company and the government. Julia Gillard has been tight-lipped about the meeting, but says they had a good discussion. It was initiated by News Limited boss John Hartigan and comes after Ms Gillard criticised the News Limited paper's coverage of Labor policy.